Hey everyone, and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the Rhino from the classic Spider-Man comics. Let's get started in the center of our page. I'm gonna start with a curve for the upper eyelid on the left side. So we're gonna start on the outside, just curve up and then down towards the inside of the eye. Now we're gonna leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So starting at the bottom, on the inside edge, curving up and then out. From here, I just wanna turn in a little frown line. So on the left side, I'm just gonna curl this around and then just pull that up. Same thing on the right side. Now in between, I just want to accentuate the little frown. So on the inside edge on the left, we'll curve down and then over towards the right side. Now let's go ahead and tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting on the outside, we're going to leave a little overlap. I'm just going to curve down, almost like a half circle coming into this frown line. We'll do the same thing on the right, starting on the inside. Now I just want to darken up the outside edge of the eye. Starting at the top, we're going to step in, curve around, just taper towards the bottom. We're going to go ahead and fill all that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right. Just underneath the eyes, I just want to draw a little bit of an eye bag. So starting on the inside corner, it's going to curve down and out same thing on the right side. Now in the middle here I just want to draw the nose. So we're going to start with a little u-shape first from left to right. Now on the left side I'm going to step down and just draw almost like a c-shape for the side nostril. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm just going to curve down a little bit of a smile line. From the top edge of the nostril I'm just going to curve just underneath the eye bag. Underneath the nose let's draw in the mouth. So we're going to start with a curve from left to right. I'm going to curve down the side of the mouth going outwards. On the left side, we're just going to curve it down and out. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve. Let's draw on the top row of teeth. So on the left side here, I'm going to curve down in the middle and then just pull it up on the right side. Let's add a couple fangs on the bottom here. So from the corner on the left, we're going to step in, just curving it up. Do the same thing on the right. We're going to hook this back down and in with a short line and we'll connect those two points with a curve just following the bottom edge of the mouth. And then in the middle I'm just going to draw a tongue. From left to right we're just going to curve up and then down. Let's fill in the inside part of the mouth in black. And directly below the mouth, I'm just going to draw a little curve just for the lower lip. Now from the corners of the eyes, I'm going to curve around the cheekbones and then pull them in. Starting on the left, we'll curve around and then just pull that into right about there. Underneath the cheeks, let's draw two curves coming down towards the jaw. Starting just down here on the outside, we'll curve out and then down. Same thing on the right side. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve just underneath the lip. Starting on the left side, curve down below the lip, and then up on the right side. Now from the inside corners of the cheeks, we're going to curve around the mouth and pull it down. From the top corners of the eyes, I just want to curve out and then back up for the brow line. Now in the middle here, we're going to draw the first big horn. So straight up in the middle, we're going to draw a point. From this point, I just want to angle out toward the left and then round it almost like a half circle just between the eyes. So coming out at an angle, and then as we get to the bottom, we're just going to round this out, and then we'll pull that back up towards the top. On the sides, I just want to add a little bit of a wrinkle. So right here, it's going to curve out and then down. We're going to add a second horn directly behind here. So from this point, we're going to step up, draw another point, go out at an angle, and then right here we're just going to pull it back in behind the front horn. And again, we're going to add that same wrinkle along this horn on the side. We'll curve around and then down. Now let's go ahead and draw the top of the head. From this curve, we're just going to step down a little, curving out around the brow 
and then right in towards the side of the cheek. Do the same thing on the right. And then on the side of the cheeks, we're just going to draw another curve for the ear. Starting up here, we're just going to curve out and then pull that in towards the jaw. Okay, now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. So I'm going to start just underneath the chin in the middle with a straight line to separate the chest. From here, we're going to draw two curves going across and then back up. From the center, we're going to curve around and then just pull that up any towards the jaw. Do the same thing on the right side. Now that we have the chest, we're going to draw the arms sort of spread out towards the side. And we're going to tuck the shoulder in underneath the chest. From this point, we're going to step down, curve around, and then just pull that up. Let's go back to the left side and draw this arm. So we're going to have the arm coming out and towards the fist. So from here again, we're going to step down to create an overlap, curving out and then up. Let's draw on the thumb, a little half circle. And at the top of the thumb, we're just going to draw a little curve. I'm going to step down on the side of the finger, curving around the bracket, and then pulling it back over. Stepping out to the outside, we're going to curve the second finger. And the third finger is going to go out and right in behind the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, curve up, and then out. Draw a little half circle for the thumb. And at the end of the thumb, we're just going to draw a little bracket. Down to the side of the thumb, we're just going to swirl around the bracket and pull it up to the side, got another curve, and then third finger is going to go all the way up in towards the side of the head. And at the top of the arms here, I just want to draw a little bit of the elbow, so we're just going to draw a little curve, a little hook like that, on either side. Let's continue working down towards the legs. Now on the right side, I'm going to have the leg lifted up like it's running, and then this one straight up towards the back. So underneath the chest, on the left side, I'm going to curve in down. On this side, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So lining up the inside, we're going to curve up in towards the chest and then out towards the knee. Now this is going to come down towards the front of the foot. Coming out and then down. We're going to round out the bottom of the foot. So from the heel to the toe, we're just going to curve this across. Now from this point on the inside of the foot, we're going to curve up and aiming towards the knee, but we're going to make a little bit of a gap. It's going to curve up like that. We're going to step down and draw a little wrinkle in the legs, I'm just doing another curve going up. In the center of the lower torso, I'm just going to draw a little curve just to accentuate the rib cage. Now let's go to the left side and draw this leg. So this leg is going to be straightened out. So right underneath the belly, we're going to curve out and then down. We're going to draw on the bottom part of the foot. So from the toe to the heel, we'll draw a curve going across. From the heel, I'm going to curve up the inside part of the leg in towards the lower torso, right about here. Up, so the leg gets a little bit narrower as we come up and then from here I'm going to curve the back side of the right leg so curving across and then down. Right in here I just want to draw a little wrinkle so from left to right I'm just going to draw a little curve and then let's finish this off with the toes. So from this point on the left foot we're going to curve up and then pull it down. We're going to draw another curve but a little bit smaller right next to it. We'll do the same thing on the right side just flipping this over. Starting from the toe, we'll curve up and then down. We'll draw a smaller one right beside it. And then on the left side here, I just want to draw a little curve just to accentuate the knee. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the Rhino from the classic Spider-Man comics. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.